This is Ash Reagan, the palate whisperer. Perfect glass. People ask me all the time, what's the perfect white goblet? And there is such a thing. I mean, you can't judge a book by its cover, but you can certainly judge a wine by its glass. I call it vessel charisma. First of all, a wine goblet's got to have curb appeal. It's got to look good from a distance, just much as your home would from the street or from the curb. I call that vessel charisma. Once you have the goblet in your hand, it should lend itself to what I call the perch balance. It's got to have enough room for both tilt and geometry, as well as twirl space. And finally, the shape of the goblet should lend itself to fume shaping. The actual fumes of the wine, whether it's a Bordeaux, a Burgundy, a California Cabernet, has got to be shaped so that it goes to your nostrils so you can take in the bouquet seamlessly. All of this constitutes a perfect goblet. My favorite that embodies all of these virtues is sommelier glass from Riedel. This is mouth blown. It's the Master Sommelier series. It's by Riedel and it's a remarkable glass for very big Cabernets, Bordeaux, even Burgundies. Candidly, its cousin, the Dark Prince version, is more stylish and aesthetic, but certainly has other attributes to it to overcompensate. I like it as much besides it's a conversation piece when I do my wine service. Also from Riedel. For Burgundies, I like Zalto. It's like holding a ballerina in your hand. The profile geometry, the tilt balance, the curb appeal, and clearly the vessel charisma is all intact in a Zalto. Great for red burgundy. And if you're doing white burgundy, I would do the Zalto Universal, the crisp burgundies, white chardonnays that are clearly crisp and acidic and translucent. It's a perfect gloss to imbibe it with. You may be wondering what this contraption is that I'm wearing. It's called the Tasse du Vin, as in the taste of wine. It was given to me in a ceremonial function when I graduated from the Ecole du Vin du Bordeaux in saint emilion France. As you can see, the, the little dimples and the pimples in this, and this is a, a sterling silver platinum Tasse du Vin. It's a way of tasting the wine, more symbolic than purposeful, but the pimples and the dimples allow it to agitate the wine before you taste it, you accept and reject it before you have the guests enjoy the wine.